today we are in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, getting ready to head into the Farnsworth House. Now, this house was there during the Battle of the Civil War, and it's been hit for well, how many times? Over 100 and some bullets? 150. 150 bullets in the side of this building. So we're about ready to head in and check this place out with something to eat. Now we're going into the Sweeney Tavern. You can also eat outside here. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Let's head back through the courtyard of this place. Summertime, this place is packed out front. So let's walk back through to the tavern. A little bar outside. Tavern straight ahead. Here we go. A stream coming down through there. Walk back through that way. We have pretty nice out here. Yeah, it would be nice playing outside when it's yeah. sunny. Yeah, it would be. It's rained here, so it's a little too wet out here. So we're going to head back through this way. Right up through here. Let's head in. Now they have a lot of stuff from the movie Gettysburg. There's Martin Sheen's hat that he had on for Robert E. Lee and Stephen Lang's outfit right there. And George Pickett. There's what he wrote. To the Farnsworth crew, so many happy memories. Thank you for the beautiful statue. The food is as good as ever. And if you ever need a bartender, call him. A lot of neat stuff. Here we have the coat that Jeff Daniels wore as Joshua Chamberlain in the movie. You know, you have Ted Turner, seems like part of his, probably his chair that he had. There's Joshua Chamberlain's outfit that Jeff Daniels wore. You have Sam Elliott's shirt. And we also have Tom Berenger's shirt as he played General Longstreet. It's a nice little setup up front here. You can see this place is very historic. It is really nice going back through here. Let's walk back through here and look. We got a little fireplace. A big poster from Gettysburg. And there's Bobby sitting by. They told us the best seats in the house. This little area down in here to eat. Nice place to come. Let's check out the menu here at the Farnsworth house. There's their appetizers. See they have some fries. They have that goober peanut soup, which is peanut butter. Got some pretzels. There's their garden with their salads. And there's some burgers. Got Grant's bacon and bourbon burger, union burger. Uh, choices there. And you have some sandwiches, which is pulled pork, French dip, and BLT. Then we have some subs there. Got your cheese steak, roast beef, ham, on different subs. You got some flatbreads. Got some pulled pork on that one. Got some hot platters. You have four of them to choose from. Children's menu and the entrees. Now their specialty is this game pie, which is turkey, duck, and pheasant. We're not going to get that. We're going to try the Grant's apple, bacon, and bourbon pork chop. The pork chop top with apple, bacon, and bourbon glaze. And Bobby's going to try the herb chicken. They brought us a sample of their goober peanut soup, which is peanut butter in it. <laughs> it's a creamy peanut butter, it creamy says. Creamy peanut butter. And it just smells like hot fudge to mm. me because it is like peanut butter fudge. Well, Bobby's going to try it. Look at that. It looks really hot, so I'm going to take a little Here bit. To see what you think, Bobby. What's that like? I can't imagine. It actually tastes like um, a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Is it good? Um, it's not something I would get. Okay. 
That is definitely different. So right there yeah, it is. It. it is five ninety five if you want the whole bowl. Yeah, so it was really nice that the waitress gave me a sample because she said it is different and I'm glad because I wouldn't have liked this soup. That is nice ever. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try it. Can't it's different. I can't imagine. Here we go. Not like peanut butter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Definitely a no for me. Definitely not going to get that. This room has a nice piece of memorabilia. With the horses carrying the cannons. That's nice and also has a lot of pictures in here of the battle. There's stuff everywhere. Like Civil War, this is where you want to eat. This has a good feel in there. Here is a poster signed by a lot of the actors from the movie. There's Sam Elliott dressed it to the Farnsworth house. Well, we're here. A lot of different people signed this. More signatures down here. The food has just come out and let's look at it. You have your pumpkin fritters, which they say are to die for here. And a pork chop with some apple on it with some glaze. There's Bobby's chicken, herb roasted chicken with some mashed potatoes. So you ready to try something, Bobby? I am. Go ahead. That is really hot, so I'm gonna move this here. Look at the steam coming off of that. Can yeah. you see that? I can't. Wow, that is hot. Wow. Yeah. So I burn yourself. I got a small one. <laughs> that is really good. You taste the herb. Yeah, it's good. You taste the herbs. Yeah, take another bite of that. Look at that Get steam. Get skin. That is really moist. That chicken is really moist. I see it. Yeah. That does look good. I like the spices I got on that. Yeah. Try some potatoes. Those look good too. Okay. Look at the steam on those. Everything's hot. Mm-hmm. I like those. It's really good. That's a lot of chicken there. Yeah, they're flaky. And that looks done right now. You know I'm going to be eating some of that too. You probably will because it's more than I can eat. That does look good. But look at that. That is the breast of that chicken. This is really moist, but a lot of times you just taste the um, seasoning on the skin. But it's like it's baked I know. through the I know. I took a bite. Itself. I took a bite when there was. Yeah. You just taste it all the way yeah, through. Yeah, you can. And how is that? I mean, that's that really is. Good. So this chicken, a good choice. Mm hmm Whatever they did to it, they roasted it. And the flavors are all through it. Let's tear into this pork chop. Let's look at it here. Got. A lot of apples in there. You got some bacon. You got bourbon glaze in here with it. There the it apples is. look really good. Yeah, they do. Let's try. Try a piece right off there. Get a little bit of apple, apple. glaze on it. I'll That's probably it. really hot. Okay. Looks like it's done well. Yeah, because I can see the steam on that too. See the grill marks? Yeah. Here we go. Let's try it. Mm. Wow. The pork chop's done well. This is like cinnamon apple. To get with the bourbon sauce in it. Tastes good. Goes real well together. I'm going to this apple with it. Mm. That's good. I'll you definitely see it was grilled. Yeah. yeah. You definitely see it's been grilled yeah, good. Mm hmm. Let's try one of these pumpkin fritters. How does that look? It's good. Let's try. Soft. Watch cut into it so we can oh, okay. see what it kind of looks like. Yeah, we can do that first. That'd probably be better. I like pumpkin. There. You got steam pouring out. Yeah, see the steam I can out see of that. that. That does look good. You can see it. Really look at that in the light. So you don't use that like in dipping or nothing? It's nope, just, just eat them. Just eat them. We've heard a lot of people say they like these. Mm -hmm. mm.
That is good. It's moist. I can really taste the pumpkin. Like pumpkin bread. It's like pumpkin bread. This is oh, okay. the way to go. It takes a little bit of cinnamon in there with it. I mean, this is to die for us. Everybody told us we had to come here and get these. Well, we decided to order the apple pie. Now, this is homemade, so it's kind of falling apart. Yeah, you can tell it's homemade because look mm -hmm. how the crust is. That means it's yeah, good. Get it's get not a big store piece of apple. Look at the apples. Look at that. It looks good. Really flaky. It is flaky. Taste the cinnamon in it. The apples are good. They're cooked good. They're baked well. Let's try a little bit of that crust. The crust was good. Mm -hmm. It's a good pie. And they put some Cool Whip there. Ice cream would probably be good too. Yep, yeah, it would. That looks good. You would get that again? Yeah, I would. They have a lemon cake we thought about getting. Maybe next time we'll try that. As you exit the restaurant at this side of the courtyard, have some fish. In the summertime, this place is really pretty. All this stuff's bloomed. And you just come back down through here, head back towards the front. We just exited the Sweeney Tavern here to historic Farnsworth House. What did you think, Bobby? I really liked it in there. The atmosphere was really nice. Our waitress, I love hearing her talk. I'm thinking she may have been from Ireland. Mm. And the food was excellent. We got a, a lot, the chicken. I had a half yeah, a chicken, yeah, half it was chicken. really good. And the price was $48, which isn't bad. No, not for this area. And the Gettysburg movie was playing. They had all that Gettysburg member billionaire, which I love to see. The music was playing all through there with a little bit of uh, old Civil War music. It just had a great atmosphere. We loved it. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B have left the building. building.